We're here at the one-to-one -one mining conference in London. Can you give us a brief introduction to Silver One? Sure. Uh, Silver One company that we started in mid-2016. Uh, silver prices were a little more interesting back then, and then something funny happened uh, in the White House in uh, November of 2016, which uh, uh, put a little bit of a damper on uh, precious metal prices. But anyway, that said the point. That's beside the point. We've continued to develop and grow the company despite, shall we say, the headwinds in the precious metals market. So what we did was we originally did a deal with First Mining Finance and we acquired three Mexican silver projects. Realized as we moved along that we needed something more uh, substantial, closer to production went and did a deal with Silver Standard to acquire a 100% interest in the past producing Candelaria Silver Mine in Nevada, which we are currently assessing. And we're thinking about trying to reprocess silver from the old heap leach pads, and we're currently doing metallurgical testing. Then just this year, we decided that Nevada, being termed the Silver State, is actually um, an area that hasn't received much attention for silver exploration in the last few decades, ever since a young upstart company called American Barrick found a interesting gold project in Nevada. Everything's been gold, gold, gold focused. So we went and we looked around, we found an old silver mining camp, a little area called the Cherokee. We went, we evaluated it, we uh, identified a 12 plus kilometer long vein system. I should say veins because there's two major vein systems. Did, did some sampling and then we staked a large ground position along 12 plus kilometers of strike length. Did multiple sampling, getting values as high as 1900 uh, grams per ton silver, as high as 4.8% copper, as high as two grams per ton gold, all within a very, uh, shall we say, uh, juicy looking epithermal precious metal system that has never ever been drilled. So we're looking forward to developing that going forward. Sounds like there's huge potential. What are the next steps going forward? Next steps going forward are we're continuing with our metallurgical studies at Candelaria, first focusing on the uh, heap, old heap leach pads. Um, average grade on those has turned out to be about 43, 44 grams per ton. Put that in perspective, uh, looking at core mining on the Rochester mine to the north of us. Uh, mining and processing through heap leach uh, cyanide uh, uh, processes at an average head grade of 15, 1, 5 grams per ton. So we think there's good potential there, but we need to do our metallurgical studies. That's number one. Continue the evaluation of our Cherokee advancing towards a drill stage. And we have one other project in Mexico that we really like called Penasco Camado, northern Sonora State. It lies just south of the U.S. border, and it has a lot of geological similarities to Arizona Mining's operation just to the north in Arizona. And uh, they, of course, just recently got taken out for 1.6 billion by South 32 out of Australia. We think our project has a lot of earmarks, similarities, needs to be drilled. So that's what we're doing. And you're here at the one-to-one -one conference. What are the key messages you're trying to get across to investors here? Um, Silver One's undervalued. Silver One essentially is a growing company. We've put a new asset into the company every year since our existence in 2016, and we're continually being approached by um, uh, interested parties who want to partner with us on various projects. So stay tuned. And how have you found the one-to-one -one conference so far? Always good. Uh, I like the one-to-one -one conferences. We've been uh, regulars here now for two years, and uh, we'll see what year three brings. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for the update. Okay, thank you.